Okay. So I'll talk to you after the game, but now that you have time to think about it, um, how happy are you that coach, his instincts proved right, left you in the game, and he made it worth a while? Yeah, you know, anytime, um, you know, your coach puts trust in you like that, and, um, you know, you just you go out there and you play, and, and you, you try to just uh, make the right reads and make the right plays, you know. I've it's helped. I've, I've gone to battle with him before last year, you know, finishing a lot of games and playoffs, finishing a lot of games, you know, finishing a lot of games. So, um, you know, I, I love being in the game, end of the game. Uh, it's my favorite thing to do. It's just when the pressure's on, the basketball, you know, every play matters, you know. Um, it's fun to be in. So you're down five with four and a half to play, and then you go on an 11 2 run. Yeah. What was said? What changed? Just to stay with it, you know, just stay with it, continue to do what we do. You know, um, you don't have to force anything. We don't need hero plays. You know, just if you have it, take it. If not, you know, move it or put it on the floor and make a play. Um, and just guys made plays one after another. It just seemed like we kept making the right read. You know, obviously, it starts with Big Fella. Um, you know, Tay and Will and, you know, myself and AG, you know, that's a lot of veteran, you know, players right there. So I felt like, you know, in, in the game, most cases we'll have an advantage with those, with those type of players, you know, uh, even guys like Jay and Mike and Jeff Green, who, who didn't finish the game, but played big minutes tonight. You know, we just got a lot of guys that know how to play. It's six threes. Okay. Suffice it to say the thumb's okay. Was the thumb giving you problems the last couple of weeks? So that's yeah, it's been, it's been really bothering me. My hand's been really bothering me the past, um, probably three, four games ever since the Warriors game. It happened mid, mid game Warriors game. Ever since then, my hand's been really jacked up. Um, I just try to do the best job I can, just getting treatment on it. Um, you know, they said it was supposed to be something where I sit out for four to six weeks, but we just don't have bodies really. And, um, you know, it wasn't painful enough to where I felt like I couldn't play. So I've just been playing through it, but it's getting better and better. So I feel more comfortable with it and uh, I feel good. Mike Singer, Denver Post, go ahead. Hey, Austin. Uh, Malone just said one of his responsibilities as a coach is to instill confidence in his players. H how has he kept you confident, um, you know, whether in your year in practice, in whatever capacity? How has he helped you? Uh, I just know I can trust him, you know, at the end of the day. Um, the, the one thing you could say about Coach Malone is he's fair. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if, if a guy's got it going, he's, he, he, he trusts you, you know what I mean? And, or if, you know, it's an end of a game and he makes his reads, you know, he trusts guys, you know, and he's fair about it. So, um, you know, for me, I've just been playing too long to lose confidence in myself. I've been doing this too long. I've, I've done it too many times. Um, I've been in this moment too many times, um, end of the game, big game, playoffs, whatever. I've been through this for years now. So, you know, I don't really get phased by the pressure or at the end of the game, um, shit, I was born with pressure. My, my last name, I've been had pressure since I was like 12, to be honest. Um, and um, coach trusts guys, man. And uh, he trusts me. He knows the confidence I have in myself. And uh, it, it feels good, obviously, when it works out and you go out there and you help your team. Because um, we got a deep team, man. You know, I mean, we got a lot of guys that can finish games. That's just the reality of the situation. So I uh, just got to be ready. They were throwing doubles and I mean a lot of double teams at Nicola down the stretch. How important is it to to keep defenses honest uh, by stretching the floor and shooting with confidence like you did? Um, I think with two fifty nine left in the game. It's huge, man. I mean, he he sees the craziest defense. I mean, between him and like probably like what Joel Embiid. I don't know who gets doubled like like that. I mean, as soon as he touches it, he has like a swarm of guys around him, and he's got to make the right read every time. It's got to be incredibly hard. Um, you know, I don't know how that would feel. I don't know if there's too many guys who know what it feels like to be double and triple teamed every game. And Yoke still finds a way to just be our anchor. Um, big fella's just, uh, I mean, he's the most valuable player. Um, there's a lot of great players playing well right now, but I, I, I think uh, the big fella is the MVP. Um, he does it every game, uh, double team, triple team. I just don't know anybody could stop him. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Leonardo Torres, go ahead. Hi, Austin. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Austin, you seem very confident right now. Why do you feel more confident with your game, especially with the three-point shots? Uh, well, I've been shooting it a lot better than I did, with the exception of these past couple of games with my hurt hand. But before that, I started really shooting the ball well um, after a slow start to the season. 
for me, it's just been getting healthy, man. And for, for, for once I'm, I'm starting to feel really good. My body feels good. My hands feeling better. So once you do that, you come in the gym, you put in the work, you put in the time, you see the ball go through the net, you know, your confidence just has to be there. And on this team with two of our best players, you got to be ready to hit shots. You know what I mean? And you can't second guess yourself if you miss two or three, cause you can make your next four or five. They're going to be there. Cause guys are going to double him every time you see Will Barton, Monte, myself, uh, you know, whoever, Faco, AG, you know, you just got to be ready to shoot. Um, and some guys, sometimes you'll see Will or whoever come out to the, you know, miss their first three or four and then make their next five or six. You know, you just have to stay confident, stay put in the work, and uh, you just got to go out there and knock it down. Last one, go ahead, Esteban. Hi, Austin. Congrats for the win and your big performance from Cordoba, Argentina. Tonight, Denver showed a strong mentality to recover the leadership in the last uh, quarter. Uh, do you think this is the mentality the team needs every game? Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely got to play with that that level of grit because um, we have guys who are, are gritty guys. Man, we have hard-nosed, hard-working players. You know, Faco um, is one of the toughest players I've ever played with. Um, you know, so he always brings that energy. You know, J. Mike. Uh, myself, I try to bring that, you know, we have a lot of dogs out there, um, you know, so we just got to continue to bring that high energy and, and play with that grit. When we defend and we rebound, we, we win games because uh, offense, we, we were too fine tuned and we had the best offensive player we feel like, you know, in the NBA right now in terms of what he can do with his scoring and passing. Um, so we're never worried about the offense, but our, our defense, you know, when we're solid on defense, when we play good defense, when we're locked in and we help each other, we rebound, we win games. So we just got to continue to focus on that. Everything else will come. Awesome. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, guys.